Good morning, it's Monday, the first day of the Reading Rush, um, and welcome to my Reading Rush vlog. I didn't have time to make a TBR video because I was away for two weeks and I only got back yesterday, um, and I don't actually have all of the books I'm planning to read yet, so you'll just see what I'm reading while I'm reading it. I have a realistic TBR, I'm not going to try to read seven books, um, I've doubled up on a few of the questions. But anyway, the first book I'm reading is Aristotle and Dante, Discover the Secrets of the Universe. Um, and this is for my first book you touch challenge. I don't really know how to do this because I don't have like a physical TBR list. Um, and libraries seemed complicated to do that with. And I didn't want to buy any books. So what I ended up doing was um, putting the number of books I have in my Goodreads to read list and do like a random number generator um, and then just picking the book that corresponded with the number it picked because the very point of the challenge is just to pick something really random so this is what we got and I'm about 40 pages in right now um, it's okay <laughs> it's like a little, a little angsty for me so far like an angsty teen book but um I'm excited to see what happens in all the other... How long is this one? Uh, 350 pages, so I have about 300 more to go. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's what I'm going to be reading today. Me and my flatmate have pretty much spent the whole day just cooking and eating, um, so I'm really full. And I'm probably going to spend the rest of the evening just lounging about and reading. So I'm a little more than like halfway through, uh, page 170 something, 76. Um, it's okay, like it's, it's a pretty fast read at least, so I might even finish it tonight or tomorrow morning. I'm kind of disappointed that I can't like, I can't tell if this book is like queer baiting or maybe they are gonna get together at the end. Maybe I'm just reading too much into it. I don't know. Right now they're both talking about girls. 
the two main characters who are guys. <laughs> so that's kind of disappointing. But hey, we'll see. Also, this is more of an American culture thing, I guess. But um, like throughout the book, the main character is like this very angsty teenage boy. Um, like not someone you would really consider mature. And then he got a freaking car for his birthday. <laughs> um, and it was right after a car accident that broke both of his legs as well. So, I don't know, I guess that's just like the European in me, but I feel like maybe angsty teenagers should not be allowed to own and drive death machines. Um, that's just me. That's just me. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna continue reading this and... I guess I'll update you, but whenever, whenever. Baked some oat bars. We had rice and aubergine. And cinnamon buns. And we had some garlic bread too, but that's all gone. He smoked a joint and then drove his truck. Why is driving under the influence so normalized in American culture? So I finished the book. Um, it's only 9 p.m. so I still have time to start another one today. I might have underestimated myself when I made my TBR list. But anyway, Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. I. I think I'm gonna give this a three stars. It was enjoyable. It was a nice light read. But I don't know. It just wasn't really my thing, I guess. Like, the whole angsty teen thing isn't really kind of over that. <laughs> and I don't know. I kind of hoped it would get gay a bit earlier. <laughs> I mean, if it's only at the last few pages, it's, it's a bit of a cop out. But I mean, the ending was satisfying, you know, I found out everything I wanted to know, and um, yeah, like, I, I had no idea what to expect when I started reading this, because like, I remember everybody talking about this a while ago, and it's been on my TBR for a long time, but I don't really remember anything anyone was saying about it. So I think I thought it was like a road trip book or something, because there's a car on the cover and it's about discovering the universe, but it was not a road trip book. <laughs> so that's my first book, and I guess I'll update you when I start reading the second one. Tuesday noon, and I just had a lovely morning. And I started my next book last night, and that is Little Women, which I'm reading for the uh, book based on a film you've seen. Because I watched the I watched the new Little Women movie earlier in lockdown, and I thought it was beautiful. 
one of the best films I've seen recently. Like, it was just so happy. <laughs> Such a feel-good movie. And so, this was kind of an obvious choice for me for this challenge. I'm not very far yet. It's, it's an older book, so it's a bit slower. Why are older books always slower to read? I don't know. But I'm enjoying it. It's very cute. Much like the movie. And yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get back to doing some work. A really lovely afternoon. Um, I just went to the park and walked around and then I met up with a friend and we just played Yahtzee for the past hour or so and now I'm just going to my boyfriend's house and we're just gonna chill tonight on Netflix or something. I haven't done much reading but eh, I did so well yesterday I can take a break. It is Wednesday afternoon and we are making tiramisu. Some easy tiramisu vegan recipe I found online. It's basically just what Estonians call cookie cake, but with coffee. Maybe I can add these two biscuits somehow and these little crumbs. I like ate them extra smooshy. Maybe I'll break this one as well. <laughs> okay, not really sure what I'm doing. Um, okay, they're starting to get quite soft. Um, just put them in the edges here, you know. It's a big edge. Just push these guys a little this way. Okay, is that? Yep, that's that's all my biscuits. Ugh. Eh. Okay, and now the cream. I can just pour it in there because I only have. I just need to get all this. Okay, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna set you down. How do people film cooking videos? This is, this is so hard. Just take that out of the way for you there. Okay, okay. You see that? You seeing that? Okay, let's, let's do this. Um, just pour it all on. Creamy goodness. It may just look like a white mound, but um, I'm sure it'll taste good, right? Right? I've never done this before, so um, what is that to see? It says to sprinkle cocoa powder on with a fine sieve, but I don't have a fine sieve. 
and this is just decoration, right? So we're gonna we're gonna try and do it with like a spoon or something. Okay, this should be cocoa powder. It smells like cocoa powder. Okay boys, let's do this. Here. Ah. Um I'm gonna just take a little bit. Maybe I should kinda of try to get rid of these bits. Oh that's why you need a sieve. God damn it. I have a sieve, but it's like a big one. I don't think this will help. The holes are pretty big. Let's let's see. Put a put a little bit in. That isn't terrible. It's actually not, doesn't look bad. Um, so let's, let's try and add some more to the, the sides. Da, da, da. Okay, okay, I think this is, I think this is good enough. <laughs> it's kind of a mess, but okay, I think this is kind of contaminated so in the, in the fridge it goes uh so yeah that's that is what we got and now into the fridge to cool she is beauty she's grace today we have made spaghetti with the meatball and we have some freaking garlic breads and then we have tiramisu so like all is Rome, you know? Anyway, what's this video about again? Books or something? Right. Uh, I've been reading this. I'm just over halfway through. I'm enjoying it. It's, it's very cute. Very, very good vibes. I'm not really a huge read the book after watching the movie person because it's like, I already know what's gonna happen. And yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm not super invested because I know exactly what is happening throughout the whole story. But it is, it's a fun, it's a fun journey to go on again. I kind of just want to rewatch the movie though, because it was a really good movie. I can't help just picturing all of the characters as their actors, which is really good because I really love all the actors in Little Women. Um, but yeah, fun book. Probably finish it tomorrow and then, yeah. And then we'll see what happens. I just did a yoga routine for like the first time in about three weeks and I've never felt so stiff before. Is this what's gonna happen every time I skip my workouts now? I'm just gonna become like an old person? Is this what aging is? But now I'm gonna have some more pasta and garlic bread and just chill out, I guess. So look at the beautiful evening light on our little kitchen garden. Some of these are a bit droopy, I know, we just got them today, so they're new. They're still getting used to things. Finally some good fucking food. I'm getting to the really sad part. I got out my tiramisu for some comfort. No. It's Friday morning. I don't think I talked to you guys yesterday. Um, but I finished Little Women, which was good. Um, I give it a 4 out of 5. It was pretty much the same vibe as the film. Um, what I didn't know is that it has like sequels. They kept expecting all the things in the film to happen in the book. Um, but the book only spans about a year of their life. Well, the film goes into the future of it as well. Um, now I'm kind of curious to read the sequel as well. Especially the later ones about Joe. Because Joe is my favourite character. And that stuff wasn't in the film, so... Yeah, but now I'm reading my favourite book. 
which is the man with the compound eyes by Wu Ming Yi. I'm in love with this cover. That is beautiful. I've never heard of this book before. I kind of picked it up just for the challenge. Um, this is my birthstone challenge. I was born in May, so my birthstone is emerald. Actually, the other two books I read were also green, but this is the one that I bought simply for the purpose of being green. I'm not very far in yet, but so far uh, it kind of goes between two different stories. Uh, one of them about a 15-year-old boy named Atilei, who is from like this remote-ish island. Remote is in, it's fully inhabited by like the indigenous people of the island and doesn't really have contact with the rest of the world. Um, and so in their culture, um, if a family has more than one son, then the second son is sent out to sea when he turns 15, never to return. Um, and that's what happened to Atilei. And so he was out on sea for like over a week. And then he stumbled upon like an island of trash floating around in the sea. And that is where he is living right now. And the other storyline is about this woman named Alice. Um, pretty sure lives in Taiwan. And she wants to kill herself. That's the main plot that is going on in her life right now. She recently lost her husband and son. But that isn't like the reason she wants to kill herself. It's more like the thing that frees her to be able to kill herself because she wouldn't have wanted to leave her uh, son. But now she's free, she has nobody to worry about, and now she is planning to kill herself. It seems like it's going to be a very interesting read. I'm intrigued. And this is one that I actually bought as well, so very happy with the purchase because it really is a beautiful, beautiful cover. I have to go to the library today, I have to return uh, Little Women and the other book, I've still done Dante. Um, and I also have to get my fourth book out of the library. So now it's gonna be It's another day. Um, it's Saturday morning, which means I only have two days left. Um, I didn't get very much reading done yesterday. I'm about this far with this. But I really need to finish it today if I want any hopes of finishing my last book as well. Um, but the book is good. I think the central theme of the book is going to be like climate change related stuff. Because on the one story, you have this guy living on a trash island. And in the other story now there's like a big issue of like uh, rising sea levels and environmental disasters being more frequent and more extreme. I'm interested in seeing where this goes on. We don't know yet who the man with the compound eyes is either. But we have, I have figured out who the cat is, who the sperm whale is, this whole water thing and the house and the mountains. So some mysteries have been solved. <laughs> I, think, I think I know what the turtle is as well. Oh, and the beetle. <laughs> I love when there's like a ton of stuff on the cover and then I can just... And then you figure out like what all the things on here mean as you go along the story. But yeah, I didn't get to my reading done yesterday because this is like kind of... The kind of book where I really want to focus when I'm reading it. Um, and I was kind of tired yesterday. So it just wasn't going as well as I would have liked it to go. I made a bunch of stuff too, but I kept forgetting to film, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not good at this. <laughs> um, but I went to the cinema in the evening, which was interesting. Um, we were the only ones there, so this other couple came at the very last minute. Um, but we went to see a Scottish film, Beats, which is about like this 1994 law uh, banning events with really loud music. And then a bunch of people kind of organized this rave protest type thing. 
and then the story is mostly about these two boys um, from very different backgrounds and they were like best friends and stuff but they were trying to keep them apart yeah I thought it was a really nice movie it was black and white which I've never I don't think I've ever seen a whole black and white movie before but it didn't really bother me <laughs> like I would have liked to see some color <laughs> but the movie was still really enjoyable so that was good and then I also did some painting yesterday because my flatmate paints and she promised to make me like a painting for my birthday and then like yesterday she decided to finally do it and I was like oh can I use your paint too and now she's insisting on putting my paintings like up on the fridge and stuff <laughs> like, I'm not, I've never painted before so I thought the painting she made me was really nice I'm very happy with that yeah I'm gonna get back to reading now Well, hello. Um, it is Sunday morning and I'm at my boyfriend's house right now. Uh, I finished The Man with the Compound Eyes last night. That was a really beautiful book. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to give it a four or five stars. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was really good. Um, I like that rather than being like a crazy climate dystopia, it was like a very realistic story of actual things that are already happening or that are very very likely to happen in the near future um, just usually in uh, places far away like I live in northern Europe I'm not affected very much by climate change yet um, our climate has been a bit weird but it's not like life-threatening or anything like that um, but this is a book about like Taiwan and another even smaller like remote island somewhere in, in the Pacific, I think. And the ways that climate change affects them, and it's really bad. And it was a really good book. It's a recommend. I recommend this book. <laughs> it's a good read. And then this morning, I picked up my last book. Uh, Laura Dean keeps breaking up with me, which is a graphic novel. Um, aka a genre that scares me slash a genre that I've always wanted to read. I've never read a graphic novel before. So I found this at my library and thought I might as well give it a shot. I read the whole thing in just one go this morning. I didn't I think it I don't think it even took me an hour. <laughs> so graphic novels really do go very fast. Even though it looks so thick. Like, I thought it would take me all day. Yeah, I mean I don't know. I feel like graphic novels aren't my thing. Um didn't feel like as much of a story like an actual book would. Like it wasn't as full. <laughs> Very little things happened throughout the story. Also whenever there was like just a bunch of panels with only pictures and no text, then I had no idea what was going on. I don't really know what it's supposed to. Um, like a lot of the time I just didn't really understand what the pictures were supposed to do. And like I would have wanted to know more about all the side characters and stuff. Yeah, so I guess it's just maybe not as much a genre for me. Um, I might give it another shot someday. But yeah, it was it was cute. I guess. <laughs> and that is the end of my reading for this reading rush. So then I'm just gonna chill out today, and then I'll probably check in with you in the evening. And actually go through all the seven challenges. But I don't think I've talked about them all yet. Yeah. Peace.
Hi guys, I seem to have misplaced my tripod. Um, so let's just go through these challenges real quick. Uh, read a book with a cover that matches the color of your birthstone. My birthstone is emerald, so that's green. Um, the amount of the compound eyes was the one that I got for this challenge, but then Little Women and Dante and, Aristo uh, <laughs> and Dante and Aristotle also turned out to be green when I got them out of the library, so triple check. Uh, read a book that starts with the the man with the compound eyes. I read a book that inspired a movie you've already seen. That's Little Women. I uh, read the first book you touch. So for this one, I got Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. I think I explained this one when I read it. Uh, read a book completely outside of your house. Um, I read Laura Dean keeps breaking up with me in my boyfriend's backyard. <laughs> Read a book in a genre you've always wanted to read more of. Um, I picked a graphic novel for this because I've never read a graphic novel. So that was Laura Dean, Keep Putting Up With Me. And read a book that takes place on a different continent than you live. This was all of them. Uh, Dante and Aristotle, Little Whitman and Laura Dean all took place in the US. And The Man with the Compound Eyes took place in like Asia. And I live in Europe. So that's a quadruple check. <laughs> and that is the end of my reading rush. <laughs> Pretty happy with myself. I got through all the books that I wanted to get through. So yeah, I'm gonna go edit this video now. <laughs> Bye, thanks for watching.